In this video I would like to show our uh, alarming macro which is able to display historic and online alarms and to configure the alarm logger inside our SCADA server. We can see incoming alarms with time on, time off and if it's acknowledged we can set the filter for active alarms or inactive alarms for the complete list and we can acknowledge uh, the alarms um, all together or just one by one. How do we program this? We take our spider control HMI editor and first thing that we have to do is for alarming we go to the alarm definitions for the logger. The alarm logger is integrated in the SCADA server and we have to tell him which variables uh, should be supervised to generate an alarm. We will use uh, three test variables, three PPOs and define conditions um, when the alarms uh, will be fired. So if uh, this PPO1 is bigger than 10, the alarm will become active and if it falls below 9, it will be inactive. We have several conditions that we can uh, use here. We can uh, test for equal, we can test for a bit, for an alarm bit, and there's plenty of other possibilities so that all kind of alarming schemes and methods can be supported. Now we will add the first alarm ID, um, edit the second uh, alarm ID and the third one for a PPO3. We can also define how long the ring buffer for a historic alarm will be. So we set uh, the size of one file and we define the number of log files. So uh, the concept is that the alarm logger will record to uh, a RAM buffer and if this RAM buffer exceeds the size then it will write once to a file system. So it's a uh, flash file system friendly because of that. Next thing we will add the user interface. To do so we open our new macro gallery and the alarm lists are in the uh, lower left side and we will just uh, take the first control um, on top for online alarm history. We choose it, we add it to our project and uh, this will show this dialog. We have, I have plenty of possibilities to um, set the properties. We can basically leave it the way that it is and we will just define the number of alarms that we will currently use. So that's only three for this little test. We will position the object. So what we have to do next is to define the alarm texts. What we want um, is that uh, the alarm texts also support different languages and all our language dependent resources are stored in these CSV files, um, one for each language. And uh, the macro will generate these tags, alarm list uh, 1, 2, 3, etc. And we will add uh, here the text in this sample for the German language. and for the other languages we can do it respectively. We will now make a build all which will uh, generate all the HTML file five uh, files and we will send that to the SCADA server or the PLC. We can download via HTTP so this will send the HMI to the server and the second um, dialog will send our alarming configuration to uh, the server. So this is separate for the download. Now the SCADA server, the web server, 
we have to restart it in order to make him reload our redefined uh, alarming configuration and after the, the server has restarted we will see our modified um, HMI which has just started with uh, logging um, and recording our new alarm conditions. <laughs>